Politicians and scientists need to talk to each other. So Parliamentary Links Day, an annual event bringing the worlds of politics and science together, is an opportunity to debate the key issues of the day. And within a climate of uncertainty, this year's event was a chance for scientists to engage directly with policymakers. We sent Duncan Golestani to Westminster for this report. Today is the largest science event in the parliamentary calendar. Parliamentary Links Day, organised by the Royal Society of Biology on behalf of the science and technology community. A chance for scientists, learned societies and parliamentarians to come together. Each year there's a different theme to Links Day. Today the focus is on the industrial strategy. It's a chance for sector leaders to share their views and experiences with policymakers in what is an important year full of challenges and opportunities. Not surprisingly, it was standing room only inside for what one speaker described as a gathering of scientific excellence. The Royal Society of Biology bringing together MPs, the government and leaders from across the biosciences. Science and politics are linked so much, whether it be in funding or ethical and societal issues, and any chance we get a chance to interact with um, our politicians, our regulators, the people that make the laws, I think is very, very important. And today I think was a really good example of that working well. A recurring theme of the day was the potential impact of Brexit, given the close links British science has across the EU. Many expressed concerns about the UK's ability to continue accessing talent. But it cannot possibly succeed unless we allow significant immigration into this country. Obviously there are challenges now, particularly uh, with Brexit, with funding and with the skills that, that we need to maintain that position. So I think we're, we're really at a decision point, if you like, in terms of making sure that we have, we have the support, that biosciences have the support they need to make sure that we retain that global leading position uh, post-Brexit in the future. Expert panels discuss the importance of diversity and inclusion, making sure talent comes from all communities and all parts of the UK, while research, innovation and commercialisation were also hot topics. The key takeaway, I think, is that there is still um, a certain amount of uh, uncertainty and concern uh, about how we're going to deliver in, on our industrial strategy. There's concern around what the impact of Brexit will be upon that. But there was also quite a lot of positivity that came out of this. I think there was a very strong message about uh, the need for scientists to make policy based on good evidence and then to work with Parliament to convey that into action. I think it really is the power of speaking with one voice and actually you know, raising issues but also raising opportunities and for everybody to kind of hear that um, some of the things that are really important, innovation, diversity and a lot about the skills base and about the, the importance of education today as well. For me the most important part of the day was the acknowledgement that we need to develop more in the regions and nations. Government Minister Claire Pen Perry talked through the government's industrial strategy and its aim to increase R&D spending. Collaboration, she pointed out, was key, with learned societies and professional bodies such as the Royal Society of Biology playing a crucial role. The RSB can actually frame the issues, articulate um, the concerns and the impact on science and sit down with government to discuss potential solutions. It can also try to, it should listen to government and understand what its concerns might be and together uh, attempt to mitigate those. This was then a day to strengthen the links between science and politics, a coming together, one speaker said, of the twin engines of progress.